Today we're going to explain exactly what one of the greatest crop pictures in all of modern history means. It appeared near Italy, Perino, in June of 2010. What I've got here is a DC power supply set at 6 volts to power some transistors to collect your emitter currents. And here are six power transistors. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and so on. A ring of six power transistors. The base current will be powered by this other little power supply. And you can see it's nicely color-coded so we can see a star shape. Now this appeared drawn in crops near Perino, Italy on June 13, 2010 near a farmhouse and the farmer saw nothing. This huge beautiful thing, brown on one side, green on the other, to suggest a semiconductor junction like NPN. Soon it was realized that the little dots inside the crop picture were meant to be electrons on either side of a barrier, current electrons, and they were numbered as 69E, 61 equals 77M, 67G, 94 carat, 52 equals mc squared. Here's a little more detail of it. E equals m c caret squared. Now when we put on a normal electronic diagram, it's just a ring of six power transistors with collector emitter base all labeled as shown. Six of them making a ring. Now the only thing complicated about doing this when I did it was you had to wire all of the base currents in parallel and all of the collector emitter currents in parallel or otherwise they wouldn't all fire at the same time. Let's go see now how this works. I've made a model. Let's turn it on. And when we feed some power into this complex arrangement, six power transistors wired in parallel from this little power supply, when it reaches 0.7 volts DC, the base currents in the center will all open up enough voltage to get through their diodes and it'll turn all the lights on on the outside. Let's watch how that happens. Very cool, isn't it? We go a little higher base current, you can see the inside light up as well. Here we are under slightly darker conditions. We still have six volts going into the collectors and emitters. No current yet. And here's the base current coming off this power supply. We're going to reach 0.7 volts, watch what happens. Beautiful, isn't it? It lights up like a six-pointed star. We got a little higher base voltage. The inside lights up as well. Let's look at it now, fully dark. You go to fully dark conditions and turn on this ring of six transistors. Now all the six stars light up really beautifully with a golden color. We go to a little higher current and the inside lights up. If we don't apply any bias voltage from the collector emitter, just zero, zero, no volts on the outside, then only the inside six bulbs light up. So when we add two volts to the collector emitter part and turn the thing on, we see they light up but a bit weakly. When we go to 5 volts, they light up very brightly. There's really a lot to study here. Beautiful, isn't it? Here we are again at 8 volts to finish this study, coming into this interesting array. Turn on the base voltage. Let there be light. Now you know what this star-shaped arrangement of six transistors means. It's just this crop picture which was drawn in Italy 2010. Each transistor has a collector emitter and a base like that and you can see electrons flowing across the thin line, collector emitter base, and that's what we've wired up here. Same thing. The only interesting thing when you make this, you want to make it again, you've got to wire everything in parallel rather than in series, or otherwise all the lights won't light up at once. Let there be light.